It's the opening round of the 2016 Enduro World Series. What else would bring this many bikes to a fort on a Pacific coastline peninsula? We're in Corral, roughly 900 kilometers south of Santiago in Chilean Patagonia. This fort was built in 1645 to protect the upstream town of Valdivia from the invading Spanish, as we saw playfully reenacted. The economy here revolves very much around the forest and the sea. As does our race this weekend, we will be seeing plenty of wood and water. Jared, you're looking a little bit different. It's a new you. We thought we'd go an easier way up. We get some amazing views from up here. Massive congratulations, man. Last year, it was an incredible ride. We were all hoping you'd do it again, but you've just gone and pulled that off. And she had six seconds to make up on qualifying, and I saw her being asked yesterday what she was going to do, and she just said, well, I'm going to go a second quicker on every corner. Look at that, just not even troubled by these bumps into this field. Fast around this bottom corner, I think we're going to see an amazing time from her here, Rob. This is going to be absolutely stunning. We're seeing him teaching the rest of the field how to ride this track here this afternoon. It is absolutely unbelievable what this man can do on a bike. He did it the whole of last year, and he's doing it again this year. Already, this is nice terrain. Kind of rocky underneath, and then with this soil on top. 3.6 kilometers long, 620 meters of descent. Whoa. I've not ridden anything like this before. Just feels like you're riding a chimney. So this is the final descent. Julian Absalom coming down to take a, a dominant win. Him and Nino battled it out all afternoon, but Julian has really shown absolute class. He has won everything there is to win in this sport. Two Olympic golds, five times he's won this series, four times world champ. It's been five weeks since the previous event and before you succumb to ennui and despair, we've rushed back with round seven. We're in Europe for the final two rounds of the series, the first of which is here in glorious southern France. One, two, three, and artisan. Jared Graves is a rider that has been there from the very start of the Enduro World Series and in that he has been a defining factor. This season didn't start off for him very well, a little bit uncharacteristic, but then at the last round in Colorado, he's turned it around. On the eve of this race here in Whistler, we thought we'd catch up with him and see how he's doing. It's a pretty good place to end up at the Olympic final well, yeah, with a did. bit of like off-season training. It's, it started, that's just my personality though. Two biggest disciplines of this sport are cross-country and downhill. So I have the idea, am I going to be able to ride both on one bike? Wow, what an incredible season this has been. We have seen endless and diverse challenges, but triumphing above them all has been Richie Rood and Cecile Ravenel, who won the first round and have led the series right up until this point to claim the championships. With helicopters behind me still dousing out the fires on the hill, ferries going crazy getting people back to the mainland off this peninsula, it has been nothing short of an action-packed weekend. As Marvin Gaye said, Ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, and I think it's a good thing that mountain biking has evolved to the level of Marvin Gaye.